At this after school activity at Fogelsville Elementary School, you can find hardwired produce and maze running robots, along with dozens of kids practicing computer programming as part of Code.org's International Hour of Code. Hour of Code is a worldwide event. We decided that it was something that we wanted to bring into our school. We see the value of giving the children opportunities to explore coding, and it's really a 21st century learning skill that we want them to have to be able to go out into the workforce after they leave us. All right, let's see. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go step by step. Organized by media specialist Samantha Edwards, Fogelsville alone saw more than 600 students participate in one week, many of them as young as five years old. Kindergartners can code? Well, yeah, they can. All grades were represented, and what was really neat is you can just see the excitement in their face that they were able to figure it out. A decade ago, who would have thought that kids as young as five are doing computer science, even at its smallest level? And so when we take a look at days like today with Hour of Code, we see kids problem solving, kids coding, and kids creating. And that really gets to higher order thinking, and that's truly what school should be about, creating kids that problem solve, that can create, can synthesize, can analyze, because that's what our world needs. In every nook of the media center, students tested their technology skills. And the best part about it is the Code.org program created it to make it kid-friendly, and the kids really bought into it. I'm Bryson, and I'm in second grade in Fogelsville Elementary School. I've been playing uh, Star Wars and Frozen and Minecraft, and I was coding and trying to get my way through the levels. Learning about technology is cool and it's also like really fun to do when your friends are with you too. I'm the state and district digital learning director for the nation through the Alliance for Excellent Education and we run Future Ready Schools. More important than my job, I'm here as dad. And so it's great to be here in a school district to see them offering opportunities like this for all children. All children K-5 to have an opportunity to hop on a device and to learn to code and to learn to problem solve. Learning about technology is fun and challenging because there's some hard parts and some easy parts, and you also have to work as a team. Congratulations, boys and girls. You made it through one hour of coding. But Mrs. Edwards and her students didn't stop after one hour. In our media center, we've created a separate section, and in this section, we have a makerspace. And we're really proud of all the STEAM-related activities that we have. As part of a pilot program for Parkland School District, students can choose from a dozen stations and a variety of creative technology tools. Here we have Rosella and she's actually playing the piano on Brussels sprouts. While some students make music, others can create virtual stories using computer programs and even green screens. Score! While others, like Jason, can practice mechanics, robotics, and more. Left turn. His name's Mechanoi and he can do a lot of things like move forward and dance. A few months ago, many of the students had little to no programming experience. Yet they recently placed in the top 10 in a national robotics competition, showcasing just how much they can learn in a short period of time. We're gonna try to make the Ollie go through here and knock down the yellow brick wall. It took about five minutes and several adjustments, but on the tenth try... Timber! There's always that moment when it works perfectly and you're just in awe of how, how crazy it is. And that's exactly the reaction educators here hope for as they encourage and equip the next generation of innovators.